um, hey, how you doing? Uh, what's going on? What? Oh, yeah, all of this behind me? That wasn't the last time I spoke to you. Yeah, I've been a little busy. Been a little busy, 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 busy. But don't worry, we're going to go over that all in a second. I've been up to some stuff. Don't you worry. Guys, today, we're going to be setting out on a journey. A journey to take care of some things that... Well, I'm going to be honest, I completely forgot about, but we need to get to it. We need to do these things. We need to do these before we leave this world, before we leave this map. We have things to uncover. We have, we got bosses to defeat, basically. There are a bunch of, I guess, I don't even know if they're main bosses, end bosses, mid bosses, but uh, they are only obtainable on this map. They're only fightable on this map. They're only summonable. They exist on this map. They exist in the world of Fjordor. I'm, of course, talking about the ones summoned by the runestones. Now, I I don't know a lot of the, about these guys but you guys seem to be telling me about them in the comments and to be honest i completely forgot they even exist but i'm pretty sure killing these will eventually lead to us being able to take on the final boss of this map so today we're going to get into that for the first time i don't know why i put it off this long in fact nope i haven't my brain is just dysfunctional it doesn't work very well my memory is pretty shot but before we get into all of that, I guess I got some things to explain going on behind me here. Well, yeah, I've uh, I've been spending some time around the base the last day because uh, I've been a little bit sick. Unfortunately, I came down with a bit of a coldy flu type of thing, which you may still be able to hear hints of in my voice. Um, but I did a little bit of expanding. As you know, yesterday we went and expanded out our base over in this direction. Well, I kind of went and finished it off. Put the walls up. Eh, bar a few of them. I guess I kind of missed some. Um, put the walls on the ceiling on and it's looking kind of dark and dusty in here what are we gonna do with this area well i guess it's gonna be like i i gotta work that out i think half of my base is definitely gonna be crafting quarters and then the other half may be more of a living quarters um but to get a lot of that crafting stuff we need this sweet sweet material i guess you call it called elements now we actually got our hands on this for the first time i think yesterday or the day before um by killing that weird hermitor but thankfully if all goes according to plan today and we do manage to kill these bosses we should get our hands on a uh, a good old stash of this stuff that can help us start getting things like replicators and tech generators and all of that fun stuff oh transmitters i completely forgot about the transmitters maybe we can actually track down dinosaurs for a change man that'd be fantastic uh then on top of all of that we've obviously got this the big old elephant in the room Room. It's pretty much an exact copy design, kind of. Uh, there's a giant hole in the middle that I forgot to fill too. Of our teleporter platform that's chilling just over here behind the base. That one over there that our wyvern's currently chilling on. Same sort of design, except this one juts out from the base. Um, I just haven't really worked out what I want to do with it just yet. In fact, I don't even know if this is how I like it because I kind of like being able to like see the view and it's just it's so it's just there it's like in the way it's kind of just so protruding and just obnoxious i don't know i was thinking of kind of like dropping it down a level so it kind of sits downwards a, t a touch to, just to kind of get it out of the way a little bit so I, I can't really decide if i like it sitting up or if i want to drop it all by one foundation i've gone and placed like a bunch of foundations in there so that i can just go and remove an entire layer and then replace it if i want to but yeah that's kind of where i'm at i can't decide what i want to do with this one here for now though i'm probably going to leave it and eventually sitting on this is either going to be one of these the big old boss summoning thing that we um i don't know yeah we don't really need this to be honest but we yeah i was thinking of placing this on here or the gaia shrine where we can go and get some more gaia wyverns but yeah that's what i've been up to hope you like it i am still it's still a work in progress basically anyways i think we should get to the nitty-gritty we should get to the the point of what we're actually going to be doing today and that lies kind of inside of here in case you don't know, we've been collecting these runestones since like the start of the series. Here they are. We got 67 of these things. Now we can use these runestones to summon in bosses around the map. In fact, we found one of the summoners for this way, way back in Asgard uh, near our old base. Except I didn't know what we're doing and I didn't know how it worked. Well, I think we're going to change that today. I think I'm actually going to head through there. The question is, who do we bring with us? Because I don't actually know if I can get a Giga through there. He is obviously my first choice. I doubt I can get a Y in there but yeah do i just try my giga do i just bring this guy and see what happens i also don't really know what to expect on the other side of this thing because i have i have no like i just have no ideas on what to expect really we're going in pretty blind and i kind of think that's kind of fun so i think i'm just going to bring my giga on my shoulder for now i'm going to actually head in here and i 
what have I do I have health potions anywhere wait no they're not on you I, I feel like I've got a, a few left yeah they are I was gonna say we've got some somewhere just in case things go really really wrong but I doubt they will I'm gonna bring those with me too and then I guess I'm just going to teleport up to our old with the world boss terminal hmm let's just go to our base let's just head to our base for now okay um and from there we'll be able to head to where we want to go to fight whatever this thing is so this isn't my base wait wait whoa hello wait what oh was that last remote location it was because i was out here checking things out aha that makes sense all right okay cool all right cool that's fine that's awesome that's great because this is right where we need to go this here is our little portal teleporter thing that's gonna take us to the boss fight um also can you go away little hunter today is not about you little dude please go and leave me alone thank you very much also he hooked us up with some wyvern i don't know why i'd want to equip those but uh we can we can equip a little wyvern gauntlet skin they do look cool these are some of like it's one of the coolest skins in the game but not what we really well i don't know i like to be matching you guys know me but anyways um here is what i'm talking about over here this little i guess portal thing and this is why i'm a little bit nervous about whether or not i can get my giga through this thing because it's such a small little window but like look hey yo okay 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 stop it please that's not very nice oh my gosh you scared me go away please go away go away everybody just bugger off i'm trying to fight a boss here here it is the world boss terminals so i could have just teleported straight to this thing inside of here lies haiti and skull and from i i i think these things are direwolves i don't actually know but all i do know is we just need to drop some rune stones in here double click this and i guess we're gonna get sucked into it so i guess the question is do we do it are we ready are we ready to take on a, a world boss? I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. <gasps> Actually, there's one last thing I should probably do before we head inside of here. Be right back. So just a little earlier, I was actually inside of the Hermes terminal. And um, I was looking at this here, the gemstone of wind. In case you don't know what this does, you craft it up and I assume you give it to a creature, one of your dinosaurs. It gives us a 50% speed in uh, boost. Speed in boost. Speed in boost? What am, I, what am I saying right now? It boosts its speed by 50 percent and unfortunately it's looking like most of these gemstones and that it takes like a hundred years for the thing to craft up well that is a problem <laughs> that is a problem indeed dang it these things are, they take so long why are they gonna take so long to craft up um yeah well that's a thing i guess okay cool never mind i was going to take this to battle with us i guess we're not going to take this thing to battle with us didn't need it anyways that's fine all right cool let's whatever let's let's head back out i suppose hey wyvern yeah i thought you had this i'll take this with me instead just in case things go horribly horribly wrong but honestly if things did go horribly wrong today, I would be shocked. Or at least with this battle. Who knows what comes after this one? Okay, we're back in Asgard. That was an entire waste of time. The world boss terminal. Let's double click this thing here. Hades has been summoned. Skull has been... Wait, what? Oh, wait, they should summon here? Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. Okay, okay, okay. That's cool. So we can bring any dinosaur we like for this battle. Oh, I didn't know that they actually summoned into the overworld. Wait, what is... Why is... Wait, wait, what? Okay, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Please wait, please wait, please wait. Why is there a d decaying Dodo Rex out here with us too? Um, yeah, we got some, we got, we, okay, we got some wolves coming for us. Uh, okay, uh, what, am I, what am I dealing with here? How much health are we talking? 125,000? I mean, yeah, that's, that's a bit, but not crazy amount. The decaying Dodo Rex though, it's a max level as well. And I'm frozen. Oh, I didn't account for this. I didn't account for this. Okay, I'm actually gonna need these heals. Oh, we are so lucky we brought the heals with us. Dude. A max level decaying dodo rex. I've got an arrow that can knock this thing out too. I no wait, hold on. Just let me leave me alone for a second. I might actually tame you. Also, wait, hold on. Where did the wolves go? The wait, the wolves just the wolves are still here, but okay, this dodo rex, you need to leave me alone, bro. I I no, just just go away. I might try and tame you. Oh, why is my stamina so bad? Oh, okay. This is interesting. I don't think maybe these wolves can't get too far away from their their spot i'm not too sure but what i do know is um th this thing here is a pain in my backside where did you what, what, what died to summon you can you go away please very pleased and like please i'm i'm like honestly about to i don't know what i'm about to do i just need to get away from this guy um i'm about to pick him up and fly away that's what i'm gonna have to try and do here not because we're in trouble man the dodo rex is killing the wolves yes Get him, mate! Get him! 
except you're killing me too in the process I just let me come on I actually want it ah, okay pick it up pick it up and fly 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 okay just fly all I want to do here all I want to do is lose the dodo rex that's all I want to do if I can lose the dodo rex I can fight the wolves and then oh I'm totally about to die stop moving okay good 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 dodo rex I think we've lost the dodo rex now I just need to get the wolves oh this is not at all gone as I had expected okay buddy Dude, the thing's got... Okay, so this is Fenra. Fenra has 250,000 health. They've also got damage reduction because I should be dealing a lot more damage than this. And then you've got Skull who has 125. Look, I'm pretty sure I should be able to take these guys down. Uh, they didn't deal a lot of damage. As expected, I am on a ridiculously powered... Well, I'm on a modded... I'm on a modded Giga. What, what would you even expect from this? Oh, what in the world is going on? Oh, okay. I'm actually getting annihilated here. Whatever that was. Dude, I'm... Well below half health. Okay. Oh, they just healed up. No, you can't be doing that. So if I get too far from the terminal, they go and they go and fully heal. All right, we are actually so lucky. We are so. What is this? Sunburn. I'm getting sunburned. Okay. If I didn't bring. Okay, I need to put a health potion in. Oh, good. There we go. There we go. If I didn't bring health potions, we would have died. We would have lost our giga today. All right, stop pushing me away. I need to stand by this terminal. Otherwise, you're going to despawn again. Also, you're going to push me too close to the Dodo Rex over there. And we don't want that either. This is crazy. Oh, my goodness. And to think this is just one of the battles. There's more to come. Okay, then. I, I'm, I'm like, I'm in awe. I'm in shock. This is so much cooler than I thought it was going to be. I was waiting for a boss arena. To, like, I, I thought we'd get teleported to a boss arena. I did not expect this at all. But let's keep this show going. Let's keep this thing going. We're right on top of the little summoner thing. There's no way these guys are going to escape us now. That's one down and 15 elements obtained. And the last one is this guy here, Haiti Beneath Us. We just got to bite him another 40 times. And I assume we'll get another 15 elements. I assume we'll get... Well, I don't really know, but... Dude, that's that's amazing. That's so good. That's so cool. Oh, you're the one that's sunburned. Wait, no, you're not sunburning me. You're moon freezing me. Oh, these are so cool. I just, um, well, I kind of feel for the poor wolf. He's, what's he even doing? It's like he's given up. He legit has given up. Poor dude, he's just, oh, I'm so sorry, mate. I'm so sorry, buddy. But, um, well, goodbye. <laughs> Thank you very much for participating in, uh, whatever this is today. So, what did we get? Let's have a look here. We got some hazard gear. Oh, we got the, oh, the Haiti relic. We've got the skull relic we got 30 elements nice we're actually building up a nice little element reserve we got some more uh radiation gear we also got an ascendant andrew sarkis saddle that's really good damage 200 wait these guys get damage multipliers from their armor shows how little i've followed the recent arc updates doesn't it we've got a giga man this is loot and a half right here if we were playing vanilla which we are not obviously but still i can break this down for resources that's gonna be fantastic awesome well there we go okay we took both of them down we got their relics now the chrono rex is up here i thought that's what died to summon that in but no it wasn't so huh buddy if i kill you what are you gonna give me what are you gonna summon in oh okay decaying bronto not bad okay i figured it was gonna be a big one so the other day i actually killed a uh, chrono rex outside of my base would you believe it summoned in a it was like a level two i think it was a level 200 or level 180 decaying gigantosaurus the thing has something like 600,000 torpor it was ridiculously powerful unfortunately it despawned otherwise oh my goodness i would have tamed the thing up but yeah we didn't get it unfortunately we are though just gonna have to settle for this guy behind me because yeah you better believe i'm gonna go and tame this guy over here the downside here is that I unfortunately, I got to work out how to deal 400,000 torpor. And we got a few options. One of them is to, I can beat it with a club, but the, I think, obvious option is to use our guardian spirit knockout thing and just knock it out with a single arrow. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just throw this in here and I am going to dismount. And look, this guy might be really strong. I, uh, that, that's why I'm considering, well, that's why we're going to do this and just hit it. And that's it. <laughs> it's asleep just like that. Oh, what do you think you're doing there, mate? Can you not be doing that, little raptor? Come on. Man, he was just waiting for me to dismount my giga just then, wasn't he? Anyways, um, decaying Dota Rex, mate. Thank you very much for falling asleep on impact. Here you go with the taming elixir. And that may have been the easiest, quickest, and most simple tame 
of my life. Well, at least of a level 300 Dodo Rex, that is. The thing's got 800,000 health. It's a level 450. The thing is ridiculous. However, I do want to try a little something really quickly here. As we know about decaying dinosaurs, they are, uh, they're constantly losing health. They're decaying constantly, always. If I were to put a healing thing inside of its inventory, is it enough to keep it alive? No, it's still, it's still dying. It's still dying. It's healing it, but it's still dying, unfortunately. Dang it. I was really hoping that this actually might work in keeping it alive. It's not enough, unfortunately, but that's cool. I have other means. I've got other ways we can do this. Dodo Rex, mate, come back to base with me. It's time to head back home. I, um, well, obviously we can either cryopod this thing to keep it alive or I'm just trying to think of other options. Maybe what we got to do, I didn't even have a saddle for you anymore. Maybe what we can actually do is just keep it next to our snow owl, wherever our snow owl has gotten to. And, um, oh, careful down in there in the water. There's a lot of little creepy electric fellows down there. They're not going to appreciate you. Yeah, maybe I just got to like pair it up with my snow owl and then we can just keep on healing it as we go constantly. Either ways, uh, I've only got one cryopod, unfortunately. So we are going to have to hop into here and unfortunately, for our dude. Wait, where is he? Wait, hold on a second. <gasps> Wait, I definitely have a cryobod. Where is it? Hold on a second. Oh, here you are. Um, that quetzal here is going to have to die. <laughs> I completely forgot we even had this poor thing. But, um, hey, I'm, I'm sorry about this. Uh, priorities, though, you know? This guy here... I think it's just that he needs to he needs to be preserved. I can't let an I can't let another decaying dodo rex die. So he gets to live inside the Pokeball. And unfortunately for you, I don't really have a solution for you just yet, buddy. Um, yes, yeah, sorry. <gasps> Dang it! I forgot to take the little healing thing off of him first. Oh well, he'll be fine. Anyways, yeah, cool. Okay, all right, there we go. <laughs> I'm gonna store this guy in my refrigerator for now until I work out like a better way of I don't know preserving him, I suppose. And while we're here in base. Let's just go and break down a lot of this stuff. Maybe I'll keep the Andrew Saka saddle and grind it all up. I think we got all right out of that. Not too bad, I think. Uh, also, let me go and just put these in here so I don't lose them. We've got the, yep, the Haiti and the Skull Relics. Fantastic. And then we still got 37 rune stones, which means we could technically head out and take on another one of these bosses. Or we could just do that another day because I think, I think I'm going to turn my attention to one of the comments that I read on yesterday's video telling me about a little little something that might be able to help us uh, get a pretty overpowered item. You see, part of the old Gaia mod here is an item that we have yet to craft. And I think I think it's in here. I think it's in the Demeter Terminal. I am talking about a certain tree that is ridiculously powerful. The Tree of Life. This one right here. Let me just read the description of this to you, okay? The Tree of Life produces all vanilla resources and some Gaia resources passively over time. It also provides a cleansing buff to nearby players. So basically, this tree gives you everything well yeah yeah pretty well it literally says all vanilla resources some gaia resources supposedly though what it does also generate is gaia leaves i have no idea if this is true but uh the comment that i read which was left by nathan howe um says that it does generate leaves now unfortunately we also need 199 more leaves to get this thing crafted up other than that though we have everything that we need he also suggests though fighting a certain boss to make it happen now i'm going to go and try and fight this boss that apparently is really really handy at getting leaves uh the only thing is i need what have i done with it i need my guardian elements i need to fight some mantises to get more of that but aha there you are okay so i'm gonna bring my guardian element with me i'm going to i guess i'll bring my wyvern over with me too we're gonna head over to little boss fight island wherever that is is it this i always forget which way it is i think it's is it this way? No, it's this way. Aha, there it is. <laughs> I, was, I always lose my bearings, but um, I'm pretty sure it's down here. Now, I'm kind of fingers crossed that there might be some guardians over here as well. Also, hello. I see you down there, little relic. Um, Don't mind if I do. Did I collect it? Did I collect it? Give me that little relic. There we go. 37 of them now, which is quite nice. Also, Volatile Dodo. Of course, there's a Volatile Dodo on this island. Um, I want to kill it, but as we know, it will likely destroy my armor. So I don't want to get too close to it. Maybe I can breathe some fire on it. Yay. Ooh, wait, it dealt damage to something. Did it do damage to my flag? Oh, that's not nice. Anyways, so from what I understand, 
or what I've been recommended, I should be summoning in uh, the monkey. Supposedly the monkey is really good at getting Gaia leaves. So I just want to put that to the test and see what happens. I kind of got a feeling it's only going to give us two Gaia leaves, but if it gives us more than that, then that'd be pretty cool too. So yeah, I'm going to fight this thing. We haven't fought one of these before. I'm really interested in seeing what it gives us because last time we fought one of these lesser bosses, it was pretty, pretty average. Didn't really give us, it gave us two leaves, two leaves. I need 200 of them. So I'm not going to fight 100 of them. I'd rather fight some of the other bosses, basically. But uh, yeah, let's have a look and see what we can get from the furious monkey right here. Oh my goodness, I'm going to annihilate this. This wyvern is too strong for you, little monkey. I, it's, it's, it's just not fair. It's just not fair on the poor little guy. Yeah, we're definitely getting two leaves out of this. Yep, two leaves. There it is. Okay. The thing still exploded on death as well. What are you going to do? All right, that's fine, I guess two leaves only uh 97 more to go let me just head on over to the volcano really quickly as you guys know this place is a hot spot for guardian mantises so if i can find a quick guardian mantis i'll actually be able to go and get some more leaves then again there is really no rush on doing that an alpha dreadful giga oh i could breed mine together i i actually could but it's only a low level if i found like another near max level one i would totally consider doing that but yeah, we don't need to. Hey, buddy. How you doing? You want to fight me? You want to fight? You want to fight? You want to fight? I'm waiting for my Giga on my shoulder to like lay some hits in as well. But it's just, he's just not doing it. Oh, there he goes. Now he is. Um, Stego, can you just sit still, buddy? I need to kill you. There he goes. Now he's getting in there. Yeah, now we're talking. <laughs> this is how it's done. Unfortunately, though, you're not the mantis that I was looking for. So, yeah, that is what it is. Uh, but if I'm going to give it like three seconds, if I can find one, I can find one. If I can't, that's fine also. There is a dragon here, though, too. Oh, okay. I can't not kill the dragon, guys. I can't not. I need your drops, friend. I need your drops. Also, I may as well set my... I set my... Oh, oh, no, that's not good. That's really not good. Banshee wife, and what have you done to me? Oh, you're going to get me killed. Oh, no. I'm incapacitated. I can't move. Wait, no, no. Oh, what is going on right now? Um, oh, hold on, hold on. Ah, okay, okay. Ah, uh, not good. Wait, I've got my gig up. No. I hate you. I hate you so much, Banshee Wyvern. Uh, where did you even come from? Ah, that is such a nuisance. That is actually such a nuisance. I didn't expect that. that. That came out of nowhere. Um, okay then. I'm naked. I've got no armor. I've got nothing. I, oh, I've got a quest with no saddle. Uh, Dodo Rex, mate. I might need you to go for a swim with me really quickly thankfully you're a fast swimmer i'm pretty sure oh you're fast but you're not like crazy fast are you anyways i need you to take me across this island so i can go and rescue my giga my wife and, and all of my stuff what just went down i here i am feeling invincible and old banshee wife and flies in and just annihilates me i'm feeling a little humiliated right now that was embarrassing oh and look at this greeting us as we as we cross the water there's a hunter megalodon in the water there's actually a few of them down there too great just yeah why not all right well lucky for us we're pretty much here um the dragon is still alive i am also still alive my wyvern looks to be doing okay i don't know what happened to the banshee wyvern um this griffin though hello how you doing thank you very much uh this radio what, what, arthur plura whatever it okay am i just used to being op that i'm struggling to kill regular oh now we're gonna hunt a mantis out here as well okay this is just this is just not going well i don't want to lose this dodo rex i'd much I'd, I'd i'd prefer not to lose this dodo rex thank you very much um okay lend me your hand old wife and and kill this stinking little hunter mantis it's not the mantis we came here looking for but hey it doesn't matter i'm gonna kill it anyways and that's what you get for messing with me all right well now we've got like our three strongest dinosaurs over on the most deadly island in the game <laughs> And I'm naked with no armor on, which is just, yeah, it's a thing. What can I say? On my shoulder, you go. On my body, you go. Man, I need some better armor if that's the case. I got absolutely just, I got, I got annihilated just then. I really got caught on guard. And back to base, you go, old Dodo Rex. Oh, hello. I was just about to give up. I found a little double whammy over here. Nice. Hey, what's better than one Guardian man? Just two of them. Um, let me just whistle my, my Giga to help me. Wait, these, yeah, these guardians. Oh, yeah, they are. All right. Oh, there we go. I want my Giga to help me out. There we go. Now we're double tapping, I think. Is my Giga helping me or what? Yeah, there he is. There he is. Hey, all right. Now we're talking. Yes. Double the matches. Double the drops. Double the guardian elements. As long as he gets the kill right now. Because, oh, now they've split up. That's, that's not ideal. Okay, if you guys hit that water, I'm going to be... Difficult than you need to. This was a really, this was, this was a really easy. This was meant to be an 
when they're uh, <laughs> when they're going there what I came for. I didn't want to know that I died for nothing just then. But we got our six vertebrae, we got our six stego bones, we even got some essence of the void, and uh, well, we can get ourselves some more elements, which means we can fight some more bosses and eventually just get more and more powerful. Really, that's all there is to it, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.